I need your help, bro. My girl, she kicked me to the curb. What do I do? What do I look like, Dr. Phil? I'll tell you what. My advice to you is, hell, there's a lot of fish in the sea. Why don't you go ahead and dip your purple worm in there, see what you pull out. You're liable to catch you a big old bass. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to build the stovetop coil. There's two guys that I saw do this build. One, there's a guy on Instagram by the name of Peckerwood. Saw his post a while back, and that definitely got me inspired. And then there's another guy on Facebook by the name of Casey Hart. He actually did a post on Juice Junkies, I would say about a week ago, and it really took it over the edge for me. And I said, you know what? I gotta show you guys how to build this sucker. Oh, before that, I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek of what this coil is going to look like when we're all finished up. So as you guys can see, it looks just like a stovetop. So now we're going to go ahead and dive down and show you guys how to build her. Wicker and then vapor. Alrighty, so the first three things we're going to need is two 6 inch pieces of 24 gauge canthal and a 20 gauge syringe needle. So this is how I like to do it. And this piece right here is going to be one of our leads. And you want to put pressure between your thumb and index finger on your right hand. Go ahead and put pressure right there against the edge of this stopper, the front tip. And then all we're going to do is we're going to wrap this lead around this stopper, okay, going under while keeping tension okay just like that you wrap it over while keeping tension on this piece of wire between your thumb and index finger now the next step you're gonna hold this wrap in place okay you don't want to go in anywhere and then what you're gonna to want to do is do your wraps right here now when you do your wraps you want to press it against the stopper Okay, we're going to go ahead and do our wraps. Now, each wrap is going to be completely tight, and we're going to wrap each wrap over each other. Each wrap is going to be done over one another. Take the slack out. Now that's four wraps right there. That's what we're looking for. That's what you want. Four wraps. One on top of the other. And the beauty of this is when we take this off, once we take it off the 20 gauge syringe needle, you can straighten it out. But you got to make sure that each wrap is completely over each other. Okay? And that's about as good as it's going to get on camera. I like to take these pliers and pinch them flat and what that does is it gets the coils it puts them in line and then once you heat these suckers up and you have them connected to your RDA it's a lot easier to work with but now what I like to do is straighten this lead right out and when I do that I'll hold the stovetop coil just like that and I'll straighten her out Okay, and then the next step, we're going to do a 90 degree bend with this lead right here going in the same direction as that other lead. Okay. Clip this lead. Make sure that this one's a little bit longer than the other one. And that's the beginning of our first stovetop coil. Now, all we're going to do is repeat this same process to get your second stovetop coil. All right, so once we've got both of our stovetop coils wrapped and ready to rock, we've got both the leads going in the same direction, all we're gonna do is install them in our RDAs. Today I'm gonna be using the Castle RDA. down that connection leave the positive connection open for the other stovetop coil and then we're going to go ahead and clip the first negative connection go ahead and clip the first positive lead all right that's our first
tighten down the connections. Clip the leads. Alright, we got both of them installed. Now we gotta straighten them up. Tidy them up. Oh yeah, there we go. All you do is just squeeze them together with your tweezers. You want to make sure they're going from the inside out. And there we have it right there. Going to be placing the organic cotton behind each stovetop coil. Put my top cap on. I'm going to line up the second largest air hole right in front of the coil. That is the stovetop coil. So when I went to build the stovetop coil, I wasn't expecting anything uh, impressive. But I got to tell you, it did really impress me. I mean, this, this build blows the Hurricane build out of the water. As far as density, flavor, flavor is just freaking in your face. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and vape on it. Talk about the flavor, the vapor, the throat hit, all that jazz. So I got her built in the Castle RDA sitting on the Panzer, the regular Panzer by MCV. The resistance is reading out to point three two I mean this sucker hits like a champ and when you first build it you got to make sure that you stuff enough cotton behind that wick you don't want to jam it in there but you want to make sure that everything is completely cottoned up and you're gonna find that when you first vape this thing after you saturate it, it there is a break-in period. Okay, once those coils gunk up a little bit, you want them to gunk up a little bit because they almost hit too hard. Okay, it burns the juice off. It vaporizes the juice super fast. Faster than any other build that I have put in to any RDA to date. Okay, one hit two hits max and you're already having to put you know 10 12 drops in there but as you break in these coils like i've been vaping on this build for i would say the past three hours after i built it i paused the video i went and vaped on it let her break in a little bit and now i could take longer hits i don't have to put as many drops in because those coils have started to glaze over and that's what you want Chucks the vapor. Super short hits. If you're vaping anything above six milligram nicotine strength, you are in trouble. <laughs> Super fulfilling. I mean, this is the type of vape that you don't need to take hit after hit after hit. It's a type of vape that, hey, I could go 20 minutes without a vape, and then, oh, you take a hit and you're like, ah. It's like taking a swig of cold beer on a hot summer day. That's what this vape's like. You don't need much. I mean, one hit will go a long way. That is the stovetop coil, the dual stovetop coil. You can also run it in single. I showed you guys how to build this with 24 gauge. You could do this with 22 gauge, and it's actually easier to do it with 22 gauge. If you're looking for a hot vape, full of flavor, vapor, throat hit, give her a shot. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.